Sean, you and I were sent something from our friend Jack. Steph, I'll, I'll fill you in. So basically, there's this guy named Ryan Cohen. Ryan Cohen, he started Chewy.com, which is a like Amazon for pet stuff, when he was young, right? Sean, I think he was like in his early 20s. And he was aggressive when he started it. He raised a ton of money. He started it out of uh, Florida. So he was very much like an individual thinker. He was like, no, we're not doing Silicon Valley. We're going to do this out of Florida. He raised like a billion dollars, a huge sum, ended up selling it for three, four, five, six billion. I don't know the exact amount. Then it goes public worth uh, many billions. But after doing that, he made, I think, around like $600 million, like a, a huge amount of money. And after he made that money, there was an article written where he goes, I pretty much put all of my money into two stocks, Apple and Wells Fargo. So he put like all of it in there. And since that article went live, that means that the money that he put in there has gone up 361%. Then about a year and a half ago, he noticed that there was a brand that he loved that wasn't doing so well. And he thought these guys can totally revolutionize the game, but they're just really like getting, they're, they're getting crushed right now. I'm going to buy 10% of the company, which he did for $76 million. And that company was GameStop. And when he bought GameStop, that's when this whole like meme stock thing went down because everyone was like, Brian Cohen bought it and he actually, it worked. He turned the company around or at least it's in the process, but it's being turned around. And his $76 million, he turned into $1.1 billion. And he currently still owns like 13% of the company. He's on their board of directors. Now, just this morning, it was released or announced that he just bought 10% of Bed Bath & Beyond. So he's doing the same thing. And this guy is a madman. I think, I'm almost positive, he's still only 34, 35 years old. I also researched on LinkedIn. I'm almost positive that it's just him. Like he doesn't have an employee. <laughs> Maybe as an assistant, but it's like just him like searching around for stuff. So this man's crazy and, and I love him. stock's up 60%. <laughs> so his money's already up. Uh, yeah, okay. He's amazing. I feel like there should be like a ticker for just like stocks that aren't small that have fallen like 80 plus percent from their highs. And it's like, what crazy operators want to like come in here and totally turn this thing around? I feel like you could also have a podcast about that where you just like, you find a stock like Bed Bath & Beyond and you're like, look, highs were at $80. It's now at, what was it before this? Like $6. Like, what would you do if you were operating this business and have people like come on and battle like Jeopardy style and see who comes out with the best strategy? That's kind of cool. Yeah, right now there's like a I whole guess. bunch of growth stocks that are down, you know, somewhere between 50 and 80% from their all-time high. And, uh, you know, stocks like Zoom and, uh, you know, Fastly and a bunch of others. And uh, there's, you know, there's like kind of that, that Warren Buffett phrase, you know, be uh, be greedy when others are fearful and fearful when others are greedy. And uh, it sure does seem like now is a good time <laughs> to be greedy when others are fearful, right? Like. Uh, there's a lot of, you know, opportunity everywhere in the market. And so, you, you know, if these are things that you believe in on a 10 year time scale, then like, this is a fantastic entry point. Uh, here's another interesting one. So I, have, I was thinking about this bed, bath and beyond thing and GameStop, and my friend Joe sent this to me. So have you guys remember express? Yeah. I don't know if they, if they have that in Canada stuff, but express mostly women's clothes. It's like, it was like fast, fa fast fashion before that was like even called a thing so look at what their market cap is i think their market cap is 250 million dollars right now but their ebitda is 150 million so i think express is an interesting one too yeah but you got to look at like the debt and all all these other obligations these they have, have a they right? have a ton of debt yes they have a ton of debt well, that's the problem they've got a ton of I debt told jack was like I go, ryan cohen is basically he's doing the ty lopez playbook of buying old retailers and spinning them into like, you know, e-commerce and sort of rejuvenating these big old brands. You know, he's doing the same playbook as Ty Lopez, just without being Ty Lopez, which is actually a yeah. great idea in general. That's a great business plan to follow. Do the Ty Lopez playbook without being Ty Lopez is like a, a, yeah. a great, a great idea. When people talk about buying, when the like buy buy the dip, I hate that. I'm because I'm like I don't I don't have any money to Sounds buy. Sounds like chew the dip. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, that's what I gotta do. I don't know. Whenever people say buy the dip, I'm like, 
with what? I, I don't own anything. What do you, what do I do? Well, you don't keep any uh, dry That's powder. So I feel like you always, uh, you're always Mr. Like safety net with cash and other things. You have dry powder. Why aren't you buying the dip? I have a hundred thousand dollars in cash. Oh, wow. Okay. I think you used to have way share. more in cash. Now that, now that you're um, a short-term real estate mogul, you've uh, deployed everything or what? I've deployed everything. Yeah, I don't. I, yeah, I don't have that much cash. I don't have enough. What do people just hold? Like, keep cash in a checking account? Yeah, certainly. People do that. They do CDs. They do you know different like different versions of like a market neutral like you know cash position. I own bonds. I own a ton of bonds, seven figures of bonds. But I yeah, guess why I did you do that? that. Who, who told you to do that? Uh, it's five percent of my net worth is in bonds. I don't know, who told you to do that? Don't, nobody Just buys like, bonds on their own. <laughs> Everybody gets told to buy bonds. <laughs> my my a lot of my portfolio is ninety ten, so ninety percent equities, ten percent bonds. You know, you don't wait. Do you own a bond? No, I don't own a single bond. <laughs> <laughs> Steph, do you? I don't own a single bond. Really? But I feel like Sean's right. Like, what what rate are you getting on these bonds? Aren't interest rates at like zero? Yeah, nothing. Like two percent. Yeah. I don't know. Money. This is you, just like you, traditional. You locked yourself into a money losing position. Congratulations. Uh, well, actually, that's a good question. With with havoc going on right now, Sean, from one, is your net worth down from one year ago today? If assuming you did not add any new cash. Yeah, for sure. One year ago, because one year ago was like a market high, right? Like, uh, if you're talking about yeah. right after the COVID bounce, so like, let's say, COVID crash. Then COVID recovery all happened in like a three month period or six month period, basically. So let's just take the all time high last year to today. I got to be down 25, 30% easily, easily 30%. I would have thought it was, would have been a lot more because of you have more high risk stuff. Uh, yeah, but like a lot of my stuff's in Amazon stock and Amazon stock has done fine. You know, it's down a little bit, but uh, yes, that one's not so bad. And I would say like, you know, that's a, that's a pretty large position. So that's not super, that's not very risky, uh, in my opinion. And, um, you know, crypto, crypto's, you know, down whenever 30, 30%, 35% from last year, most of it. But I have a few like altcoin bets that have done really well. So like, mm -hmm. uh, I was on here talking about Luna not long ago, Luna's up a hundred percent. So it's like, you know, that, that doubled while other stuff went down 30%. So it's okay. You know, we do all right. Right, but Sean, so. where's your psychology at? Because I feel like, you know, everyone knows the strategy, like, yeah, buy low, sell high. But when this actually happens, when all your stocks or all your investments go down, it's like so hard to actually maintain that psychology and be like, oh, yeah, I'm totally going to put more, more money in the market. So are you like, is your conviction still as strong as it used to be? Are you like, yeah, this is like awesome. I'm going to buy the dip. Or are Can you I... struggling? Quick interruption. Do me a favor. Scroll down and you're going to see a link to The Hustle. So if you want to stay up to date on the tech and business news you need to know, check out The Hustle. It's a daily email. I used to help write it. I love it. So check it out. Scroll down below. Let me guess. Don't talk, Sean. Don't talk yet. Okay. I have a feeling that this means nothing to you and you're totally cool yes, about correct. this. Uh, it's actually yeah. even better. I don't even look. Like, I don't look at it because I'm like, oh, why would I look? It's just going to be down. So I just don't look, which means I don't think about it, which is actually like the correct way I should have been doing it all together. Like waking up and seeing green, put a little, nice little pep in my step, but was sort of this like false uh, positive. And, um, and now I just don't look because I'm like, oh yeah, of course I'm down 5% again today. Like what? I just lose 5% every day or 2% every day. That's just like a, an average day now. So I just don't even look at it. And because I'm not looking at it, it doesn't matter because I wasn't selling I wasn't selling when it was going up. I'm not selling when it's going down. So it doesn't really matter the day-to-day -day fluctuations of it. So now it's just, I just get some time back because I don't like want to go look at it because I don't want to see any carnage. So I'll just like kind of ignore it and just go about my my day. And, uh, you know, I kind of ask, I'll pause. I'll ask myself, you know, has anything changed? Meaning, do I view these investments differently now? Do I, do I no longer believe that these are good good investments to be in over like a five to 10 year period? No. Okay. So then, you know, what am I thinking about? There's nothing, nothing, to, nothing to think about essentially at this time. Do I buy the dip? Uh, that's one where, you know, sometimes I I do like to just chill. I just like sit on the sideline for a bit. Um, because I'm a pretty, like, I've spent a lot of time in my life gambling. Like I literally played a lot of poker, a lot, like I've spent so many days in a casino. And so I know the feeling of chasing a loss, trying to win it back. And, um, and so I just like to make sure that I'm not doing that. So there's a difference between buying the dip and chasing a loss. Um, 
and you know throwing good money in after bad and so just trying to differentiate between the two like am i on tilt or do i actually believe that you know this is a good good entry point and you know whatever else so i would say the one thing this does do is it heightens my focus on earning money because like oh i need to like earn money i can't just rely on my investments you know completely so like what do you know i got off my ass i taught my course and i like submit my invoice for for the podcast and i like i do things that are like will bring cash in because otherwise you know uh, it's easy to get lazy when when everything's just going up so much right there's many days where you could just look at your portfolio and just be like wow that was a whole year's worth of salary just today swing like swing up so that that kind of makes you kind of lazy to like do the work that day in a way right because it's like oh well this if this just could earn that much money just doing nothing every day like why do i need to go hustle for that you know that next dollar I feel yeah, you, I feel like a lot of people are feeling that way. They're like, oh, right, I have to work. Like, this doesn't yeah, which last great. forever. Very healthy, very healthy position to be in. 